Hey, welcome back guys. This is Beamer Merchants. This is part two of our original video which uh, shows you how to remove a steering angle sensor out of an 01, I'm sorry, out of an 03 BMW 325i. Now the removal process is the same for all E46 3 Series models. Okay. On the first video we went ahead and showed you the bolts that needed to be taken off in the removal process. In this video here we went ahead and uh, took this whole steering column off so we can show you and give you a better view as to what you would need to remove this bad boy right here, the steering angle sensor. Okay, hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, now again, if you're gonna be removing this part, you're gonna you're gonna be working in a pretty close area. Okay, you're gonna either have to remove everything under here on your car, and you're gonna have to go ahead and remove or start working from this area here. So just take note of that. Uh, in most cases, what I would do is I would go ahead and remove my uh, seats, lay it down here so I can look up and have better access. Or if you don't want to go ahead and uh, take the time, you would have to go ahead and basically be on your knees here. You know, be working like this. Again, in this position, it's a little bit more complicated because you can't really see everything. Okay, so now that you know where that angle sensor is located, in your work area, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, remove the angle sensor from the column. Okay. So anyhow, what we need to do first is you need to go ahead and remove this cover here. Okay, this cover here slides out. The way I, I pulled it out was I just got my flat screwdriver. I put it here at the edge, and I whacked it on the top, and it comes off. Go ahead and pull it, should come off. We now have to go ahead and remove this washer and this plastic. In order to remove the washer, you have to go ahead and pull this plastic off or slide it out. And if you can see here from the video, there's little tabs. There's one right there. And there's, you can, you can find them around here. You need to somehow it's press those tabs inside and as you're pressing the tabs you're gonna be able to basically pull it off from the side okay as you're pressing the tabs you see this metal washer you can pretty much push it inside let me pan out here pan back inside this thing goes inside this one there's a little gap right here you can actually open it see open it and just And this is how the plastic washer looks. Be sure not to lose it because you're gonna have to put it back inside. And this metal washer, you can easily go ahead and slide it off. There you go. Now, as you can see, once you remove the washer and the plastic uh, piece from here, you can just go ahead and slide the angle sensor out because this metal bracket is uh, holding onto it right there. So next, what we need to do is we need to go to the side. That right there is a 13 millimeter. And on the opposite side, you got a 10 millimeter. Again, 13, 10. What you need to do is you need to actually go ahead and remove the bolts, slide it out. And these are the tools that I'm using. You can see. You need to hold on to this 13 because if you just start turning on the 10, it's just going to keep spinning back here. So make sure you hold on to something back here. Okay, once the 10 millimeter bolt is off, you can just go whack it out and pull it off from here. And this is how the bolt looks once it's off. Okay, now you're able to go ahead and lift this up. See that? And slide this angle sensor out. This is another view where once you remove that bolt, you can actually go ahead and Pull this aside. Okay, at this point, you are almost done. What you need to do now is, on each side of the angle sensor, there's a little pin right there, and there's another one right there. You see that green spot? What you need to do is somehow 
with your fingers here, press them in, and with the other hand, slide the angle sensor out. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and took my hand, I pressed those two taps, and I was able to go ahead and, okay, see, you can e easily go ahead and remove this angle sensor, slide it out, and it should come out just perfectly fine. And this is how the angle sensor looks once you remove this here. Okay, there you go. Obviously, the installation part is the opposite of what we did. Okay, in this case, you would just have to go ahead and put it back in. Just be sure that you see this little gap. It goes right there. Okay. So anyhow, that's how you remove it. If you have any questions, comments, let us know. And I'm pretty sure if you follow the uh, steps here, the instructions, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. And that again, this is the removal process for the angle sensor out of an E46. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching. This is Boomer Merchants. Be sure to sign out. You take care. And just one, one last look as to uh, the tools that we used. Alright guys, good luck again. Thanks for watching. We are out.